Okay, in, in, temperate, in temperate climates, the best way to find butterfly cocoons, or butterfly chrysalises or moth cocoons, is to look on branches, and usually after it snows, it's easier to see them. Uh, unfortunately, birds know this, and other predators, mice, and, and other things looking for butterfly chrysalises or moth cocoons. So uh, a lot of times you might find one and there'll be a hole in it because a woodpecker has gotten to it and that's happened to me several times. Uh, butterfly chrysalises will usually be lower down and sometimes they make them in the grass or in the brush or a lot of times if you f you'll find them around water because sometimes caterpillars will fall off of what they were eating and kind of crawl for a while and then get to water's edge, can't go any further and they'll make their chrysalis around there and same with moths, they'll make their cocoons around, around water. It's best to look around where their host plants are, so if you're looking for a monarch chrysalis, uh, a big open field with milkweed would be a good spot to look, and they typically might not make it on the milkweed, but somewhere within 10, 15 feet around a plant in the grass or somewhere around there. Um, swallowtail caterpillars will be on the sides of trees, and they look just like bark, so it would be very hard to find them, but if you knew there was a caterpillar in a certain spot, that would be the best way to start looking.